Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to technologically introduce the principal rules that permit to size the thickness of the formed heads in pressure vessels subjected to internal pressure, based on the American calculation code ASME, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. First, it's to note that there are several types of formed heads based on the ASME standards. And as it is depicted by this figure, we have the ellipsoidal head, the spherically dished head, called also toryspherical head, the hemispherical formed head, the conical formed head, and the toriconical formed head. And uh, these types are characterized by uh, certain characteristic dimensions which are uh, the inner diameter, the outer diameter, the, the height of the straight fa face, SF, the total height, uh, H, uh, the crown radius, CR, and the knuckle radius, KR. And the knuckle here is associated uh, to uh, the torical uh, shape exist existing between the straight the straight face sorry and the crown of the formed head in this uh, educational video we will handle the case of ellipsoidal torispherical and hemispherical formed heads i will explain uh, for each type how to determine correctly the thickness now I will explain how to determine the appropriate thickness of an ellipsoidal formed head subjected to a pressure on concave side, which means internal pressure, and uh, based on the ASME section A Division 1 UG-32. Uh, this uh, formula is used to obtain the appropriate thickness uh, and uh, of course uh, as you can see p is the internal design pressure d is the inside diameter of the formed head uh, skirt uh, s is the maximum allowable stress stress sorry of the material uh, that constitute the ellipsoidal formed head and e is the joint efficiency and uh, s and e are determined as i explained in the previous educational video Pay attention, uh, this formula is valid uh, in the case of uh, 2 uh, to 1 ellipsoidal head and uh, we can uh, perform or we can carry out this uh, proportion using a knuckle radius equal to 0 0.70 the internal diameter of the, of the formed head skirt and a crown ra radius equal to 0 0.9 the internal diameter of the formed head skirt. Now I will uh, explain how to determine the appropriate toryspherical or the appropriate thickness for a toryspherical formed heads subjected to uh, a pressure applied on concave side, which means internal pressure. And based on the ASME section A division one UG-32, we use this formula, uh, of course P, D, P means the internal design pressure, CR is the internal crown radius, S is the maximum allowable stress, and E is the joint efficiency. And S and E as determined as I explained in the last educational video. Pay attention, this formula is valid only when the knuckle radius is, uh, is equal to 6% the internal crown radius and the crown radius is equal to the outer diameter of the formed head skirt. Now I will explain how to determine the appropriate thickness of a hemispherical formed head subjected to pressure on concave side, which means internal pressure. Based on uh, the ASME section A division 1 UG-32, we use this, uh, this formula to determine the thickness. P, of course, is the internal design pressure. CR is the internal uh, crown radius, which is the internal uh, radius of the sphere. Uh, S is the maximum allowable stress. E is the joint efficiency. 
pay attention this formula is valid only when uh, when the obtained thickness uh, does not exceed 0 0.356 uh, the radius of the sphere which is uh, the, crown, the the internal crown uh, radius or p uh, does not exceed 0 0.665 multiplied by the by the maximum allow, allowable stress multiplied by the joint efficiency this educational video takes and please if you have any remarks or suggestions mention it in the comments thanks a lot